everybody, welcome back to Hidden Artifacts channel. Today I am taking you back to the park. We are at Ferris Park. Uh, this is a pretty large park out here in Lansing uh, and one of the older ones in the city. I've been here a few times, uh, but it is pretty massive and there's just a lot of area to cover. Um, I've gone towards the newer part of the park where things have been plowed over. Uh, time to return back to the older part. I'm gonna be hitting the corners and the edges um, and definitely around some trees to see what I can find. Hope to bring some pretty cool stuff up from the ground. Uh, I've been having a lot of luck lately and uh, got a good feeling about today. I think I'm gonna find some cool stuff. So let's get going, start digging. I have just dug my first hole sitting right below this really massive walnut tree. Uh, it's, it's a big one. And it's that time of year here in Michigan where the uh, walnuts start falling off the tree with just a little breeze. And as I was sitting here digging, this one fell right next to me about three feet away. And I really hope one of these doesn't hit me on the head because that sucker's gonna hurt if it does. <laughs> Anyways, got a pretty strong hit, uh, copper range. And uh, as you can see, I got something pretty interesting. It's pretty far down. I mean, we're looking at, I don't know, six, seven inches. And uh, I wasn't able to get it and it just popped up all of a sudden with my shovel. This one's interesting. It's definitely copper. It looks like it's ornamental. Kind of a circular disc. Pretty strange. Really weird one. This is a really old park, so I'm probably going to find a lot of stuff like this. Pretty cool though. I'll try to kind of mold this back into shape a little bit and see what it is. Or at least possibly have a better idea. Got a really strong hit by this old tree stump. Looks like it's been here a really long time. And dug, 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 dug. Couldn't find anything. Finally got it. And it's yet another bullet. Here's some interesting stuff about this one though. It hit something. And specifically there's wood <laughs> in the tip of it. So at some point somebody shot this tree and it fell out. Or at least it hit a root underground. Pretty funny. All right, I got a pretty crazy signal here. It is deep and it is coming up at a really high tone. And uh, I have dug the heck out of this thing. And it's already at least 12 inches deep, so I'm gonna keep trying to see what I can find. I'm starting to hit what looks to be little pieces of pottery. Those just came up. So we will see what comes out of this hole. Should be interesting. Okay, so after massive amounts of digging, I mean, look how far down we are here. This is crazy. It's really, really far down. And this thing's still ringing up like mad. I was able to finally get this out, which is a really, really, really old piece of glass. I mean, I'm guessing at one point this was probably raised over, uh, it's just old junk, I'm guessing, but there's still something down there that's ringing up, something crazy. So I'll keep digging, see what I can get. Managed to find what was setting my detector off, and it's that big piece of metal right down there. I don't know if you can really see it. Um, it's pretty pliable, so it's definitely not something that I want to go after, and it's gigantic, which explains why my detector was able to see it so far down. But it was fun to at least explore a little bit. I almost walked away from this one and almost decided not to dig it, but I'm kind of glad I did. It's interesting because I'm pretty sure, yeah, we have a railroad tie. That's cool. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this park for the day. I've really explored pretty much all of it at this point. Um, there's definitely different parts to the to the park where the the soil changes a lot. Um, I hit the uh, corner and it seems like that's you know you go down about a foot and it's just buried trash, which is really throwing my detector off. Uh, and it doesn't make it too much fun to dig. And then uh, you get a little bit farther out, it's all newer stuff, just clad coins. Um, so I know it's getting a little 
overcast and it actually might start raining or at least sprinkling here in a little bit so I'm gonna take a little break and then I'm gonna hit up another park if it doesn't rain uh, and we'll just keep going all right I am back YouTube I had to leave the other day really quickly. <laughs> uh, I knew it was gonna start raining at some point. Um, had no idea it was gonna start raining that hard that fast. I actually have an app on my phone that usually tells me when it's gonna start raining. And uh, that didn't even say anything. Uh, all of a sudden it went from just light sprinkling to a complete utter downpour. So I am absolutely thankful that I got out when I did because uh, I would have gotten soaking wet and it actually rained the rest of the day pretty hard. Uh, so I am back here at Ferris Park. I'm gonna do one last attempt at uh, digging up some of this park. Um, I've been told on uh, Facebook that I should hit the northwest corner, which is right over here to my right. Um, one of the guys on, on the Facebook group that I follow, uh, the Pull Tab Posse out of Lansing, uh, told me that I should hit that corner pretty hard because he's pulled out a couple 1800s coins. So I'm going to give it my best shot, see what I can find, and I will let you guys know. I'll be here for a couple hours. Uh, and then I might go try to hit another park and possibly even the beach later today. Here we go. All right, first few minutes being out here. Just dug this uh, hole here and out from the side right here. Pop this little guy. So we're going to find out together what we have. It's looking pretty green. No, just a memorial penny. Pretty chewed up one. Looks like 1982. Okay, just had the exact same signal. Looks like another penny, possibly. Another memorial. Now well, they're getting older, at least. <laughs> it's headed in the right direction. 1979. Maybe if I just keep going to the uh, left here, I'll go back in history. Who knows? All right, about four inches down, I got a pretty strong coin hit. And it is still in the ball here, so we're going to find out together. Ready? Appears to be a penny. Can't see a date on it yet. Yeah, memorial. Looks like an older one though. What do we got? Can't quite tell. Well, 1986. All right, this is promising. I'm not sure what I have here, but it's about four or five inches down. It's right in the side of this hole, and I have not picked this up yet, but I have no clue what that is. So we're going to find out together. It could be a quarter. Yep, just a quarter. Well, this one's interesting. I couldn't track this one down. It kept moving to the right for some reason. Every time I would dig a hole, it would show up more to the right. But this just popped out. I think I hit it with a shovel and broke it, unfortunately. But this is odd. I don't really understand what this is. It was originally like this. Very weird. Couldn't tell you what that is. I mean, it looks... I couldn't even guess. Couldn't even guess. Anybody have any clues out there? That would be great. It's got a rivet on it at one point. I'm going to clean up some of the dirt and see if I can get any markings off of it. Oh yeah, I hit it pretty good. Alright, let me clean it up and see what I can find. Yeah, no markings on it whatsoever. Lots of holes. Rivets. Uh... I mean, it looks like it might be brass or copper, possibly. But I have no clue what this could have been. 
It looks die cut, like it's a like it's a piece of die cut or something. Very strange. I'll keep it. It's kind of cool. This one's pretty interesting. I uh, just dug this plug up. I clearly got something in there, which is I think what I was hitting it was coming up between a penny and a dime. But then I just uh, double checked. And I got something down there too. That's a first. I'm gonna try to do a live dig on this one and see what I can come up with. Okay, it looks like we got a key. Nothing really on it. Now yeah, there's something there. Hard to read. It's pretty old though. It's actually got a lot on there. <laughs> Hex Key Shop. Up to see if that's still in business or not or if not, when it went out of business, but let's place this guy right back where we got it, and we'll go after this. I'm not sure how far down this is. Might take me a bit. Not the easiest doing this one handed. Alright, we're right on it now. This is that layer I keep hitting in this park. It's crushed brick and pottery and all kinds of weird stuff. down there. Whatever it is, it's pretty big. I might have to pause the video so I can get down there. Yeah, I'm gonna pause the video. I'll let you know. Well, I found it. Unfortunately, it's really big and it's really rusty. <laughs> it's basically, this is just the corner of it right here. I don't know if you can see that or not. And I don't really feel like digging the whole thing up because it is really big and it's going to take a long time and I don't think the payoff is going to be all that great. I think it's just a piece of old iron or something. Even though it is ringing up really high on the detector, so who knows. But I'm going to fill it up and move on. It's not what I'm looking for at the end of the day. Alright, this might be what I was looking for the whole day. It amazes me how far down the sky can see this Ace 250. We are, I don't know, however long my pinpointer is. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I started freaking out when I saw this. That is deep and it is green. So we're gonna pop it out. I'm gonna try not to scratch it. There we go. Let's see what we get. We 
man. That is really green. <laughs> it's got a ton of patina on it. I can't tell what it is yet though. Alright, I'm going to try to clean this up gently and let you guys know what it is, or at least what I think it is. Could be old. That's exciting. Well, there it is, guys. Cleaned it off as much as I could, and it's barely visible, but 1913. Cool find. It's pretty chewed up. It's a wheat penny. I mean, you can just barely see it. But I'd say that's a success. I mean, I'm 13 years off. I really, really want to get an 1800 coin. But 1913 is pretty amazing, and it was. That sucker was deep. <laughs> It was really deep. You can actually still see the uh, patina lying in the ground there in the hole. It's pretty awesome. Pretty happy with this one. Good stuff. It took a lot of cleaning to get that date to come out. And I hate to ruin the patina, but it's a penny at the end of the day. And I just wanted to see what the date was. Pretty happy with it. Super stoked. Great find. All right, everybody, I laid out what I found on this old stump. So, lots and lots of iron that was ringing up higher than it probably should have. I got washers and nails and boring, boring, boring stuff, as usual. Oh, please go over here. Get to that in a second. Uh, old pencil sharpener. It's kind of cool. Uh, I think it's aluminum. It's pretty light. We've got a couple keys. Nothing too special. I always like finding those. Uh, this little guy, still not entirely sure what that's supposed to be. Couldn't tell you. Uh, some kind of copper pipe strap. Looks pretty old. That was pretty far down. That was eight, ten inches down. It was ringing up pretty high. Going to the coins. Actually, before we go to the coins, I got this little guy. Some kind of decorative piece of copper. It's strange. Very strange. Um, I did manage to find what appears to be some lead. It's really, really, really malleable. Um, piece of glass. It's kind of cool. It's really old glass. I uh, found this little prism. I think it's actually plastic. Uh, I was digging a hole and that was in the hole. It's kind of funny. Uh, and then onto the coins, I got a uh, nickel, whole bunch of dimes, tons of pennies, a bunch of quarters, and then two interesting coins here. Number one, this little guy is ringing up as aluminum. I think it is. And uh, I managed to look it up. It's from Ethiopia. It's kind of cool. Happy with that little guy. And then the uh, find of the day, the 1913 Wheat Penny. Super chewed up. Nonetheless though, I set out to get as close to the 1800s as I could and it's pretty close. I'm definitely coming back to this park. I mean, I can see there's a lot of potential, especially in certain areas. Found some really good stuff. I think I know where I'm looking now. All in all, interesting things. Nothing too super valuable, but it was fun nonetheless. So once again, guys, if you like the channel, please subscribe. Please tell your friends. I could use all the support I can get. Uh, I am absolutely loving doing this, and uh, I appreciate all the feedback and the commentary I get from all of you. Uh, if you could help me figure out a couple of those items, please leave what you feel they might be in the comments, because that really helps me a lot. Um, I try to do my own research, but a lot of you guys are smarter than I am. <laughs> so until next time, keep digging, have fun, see you soon.